Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how to write Django unit tests. Having tests really boosts your code and efficiency. Debug things much faster, make changes much faster, it saves you a load of time in the future. I'm going to show you how to start writing them using a Django example. So let's get into it. Here's the written article. This is in the link below that we'll be following along. And this is setting up your Django project. And so you need to copy this into terminal and your installed apps. I've already done this. Here it is. I've added sim. And then you can see I've got my core and sim. Step one, we've got three models, our dish, ingredient, restaurant. A restaurant has dishes, which consists of ingredients. So just copy that. Go to your models in sim, which we've just created on our sample app, paste it in. And you can see methods here that we're going to be testing later. Make migrations by running this in your terminal. And then you can see they, they, they run, and you'll see a little SQLite database pop up here shortly. There it is. OK, now section two, we're going to write tests for our models. So we're going to create a directory, and then we must put this initpy in. If you don't do this, you won't detect your tests. And then we'll create a test models file and add this. Go into sim, create a tests directory called tests. And then go into tests, and then in the tests folder, create underscore underscore init underscore underscore pi. This tells Python that there are relevant files in here then we want to copy this. These are all of our tests and create another file in the tests next to the underscore underscore file called test models.py and then paste it in. Let's just run them to test that they work. We can actually write python manage.py test alone and then paste it in here. Great, full four pass. If you don't see four there, then you haven't probably haven't included the init in the init in tests. So just to run you through what's happening here, a general principle when you're testing is not to test third party packages. The general assumption is that that is well tested code wasn't well written or well tested, then you wouldn't have chosen to use that package and you don't want to test everything. So just test the code that you write. So for here, if we go to our model, there's no point us testing each field here because Django does have tests for that. We've added this here, these methods. And so we do want to test these. So let's just go to restaurant first and see so we've added here to, take, to make the first line and the zip code and give it an address. And so we go back to it. So that's what we're testing here. And we're testing it as expected, that address, when we call address. Making it a bit more complicated, going into dish. We've got all these ingredients which we're created, creating. And these are all sample test fixtures. So like I say, that means sample data for tests. So we're creating this dish, adding these particular ingredients here, and then we do the expected, that's just us saying what we think it will be, and then we actually run the method that calculates the cost and check if that's correct. So if we were to change that to expected cost equals decimal two, and then run the test, you can see there's a failure there because decimal 1.0, which is the actual price here in the expected cost, does not equal two. Get rid of that, run it again, all pass. And so if you click on that, that the model method we are running here is in the model, and it's this is doing, looking at all the ingredients here, and then for each ingredient in ingredients, which are here in our many-to-many -many field, we are then summing them up and sending them to a decimal. These are some nice examples that you can adapt. We're doing something with prefetched here. That's a database optimization that essentially gets all the data at once from the database rather than multiple calls. So now we're going to add factory boy and faker to our test to make things cleaner. Create a factories.py, and we're going to copy this in. So go to sim, create a file, factories.py, paste that in. Now we're going to update our existing unit tests to use our factories. These will reduce duplication. So we go down and copy this, and then we're going to paste them over our existing test models. And you can see that it's a much simpler ingredient factory rather than having to call everything out. And you can set defaults. It's really powerful. I use it for all my apps and products. Yeah. Essentially, you're creating the Django model there, and you can see much less code. It's much clearer what's going on. There's a load of creation there, adding some, and then you focus on the things you're actually testing. OK, and so let's run them again to test that they work. And they, they do, all pass. Now, section four, let's create some views, which we'll then test. Let's copy this, and we're going to create some views. So go to sim, go to views.py, paste in what we've just created. We're going to update our restaurant, essentially perform CRUD. So create, read, update, and delete. And then we'll connect our URLs and we get it working. Okay, so go to your core URLs, paste in that, and then go to copy this. And then we'll need to create a URL here in the sim. So create python urls.py. And you can see they link to each of the views. And now we're going to create some templates. So just to, to render things, create a folder in sim called templates. And then okay, we'll create a HTML file restaurant list and paste that in rest from the restaurant list, which we're just going to re render the restaurants. And now we'll create another template called restaurant form to create a new restaurant. 
and then paste in restaurant form there and create another one called restaurant confirm delete. As you can see, we're kind of using an HTMX style, breaking things up. So restaurant confirm delete, and then copy that in, that HTML in. We could run this, it'll free to run, go python manage.py run server and have a look at this. We were gonna test our views. So we're gonna go into sim, you'll see, you'll see a similar pattern, create test views.py, copy this in, and this will do various things such as visit the pages, create, test the create view, test that we use the correct template, the correct status code, that we actually create a new restaurant. As you can see, we're posting that with some data that we need for the restaurant, and then checking that there is a restaurant with that particular data that was last created. And now let's run our tests. Python managed to apply run test. And there we go, they all passed. Some nice tests here, which are fairly comprehensive. I'm using subtests here just to break them up. And if we were to get, say, an, an introduce an error, let's say this was called it 412 or 314, run the tests again, you see that's an error. 200 is not 314. So I hope that was really useful. If you're interested in what I'm doing, check my mailing list below for updates on my product to build Django front end faster, as well as loads of free Django guides that I'm making. Besides that, I'm making more videos every week, and here are a few of them. Yeah, great.